everybody, it's Chris Silva. Thanks for joining me. In this video series, I'm going to be showing you some really cool stuff you can do with programs like Adobe Photoshop and After Effects. One of the questions I get asked a lot is, hey Chris, do you know of any way I can take a 2D photograph and turn it into a 3D environment that I can then animate in a program like After Effects? Today, I'm going to show you how to do just that. One of the coolest effects in Photoshop has to be the vanishing point effect because it allows you to take a two-dimensional photograph and transform it into a 3D environment. Now I find this particular effect really useful, especially when I want to incorporate like 2D character art into a 3D environment, which can be difficult to, to pull off. Uh, this is what I call the vanishing point effect. Now the effect itself is located up here under the filter effects. It's right here, vanishing point. But first let's open up a project file. We're going to get an image, and here we have, it's Graffiti Alley by Missy S. This was taken in Toronto. It's a cool graffiti laden uh, alleyway and it's perfect for the vanishing point effect because the vanishing point effect works based on well vanishing point which is as you see these lines coming here these lines this line coming here and then you have where kind of the the field of vision vanishes into um, a, a distant plane here so uh, yeah that's my explanation of that vanishing point uh, you art students know what I'm talking about we'll go to the vanishing point filter and all you really need to do to create the vanishing point uh, effect is set the lines where the vanishing point effect exists in the 2D photograph so we set a point here at where the path of the uh, vanishing point ends and we create a line that comes down to where it kinda begins visually we click again it's gonna set another point Okay, we come over here, click a third time, we have a third point, and then of course we come back up to the top, and bam. Now you'll see the lines are in red. That means I don't really have a very good, um, it's not going to take and create the vanish, so we need to adjust where our points are. And you just click on a point, kind of drag it. Usually all you need to do is grab one of these and kind of pull it up, and yep. Once we have our blue mesh like that, that means we've created an effective plane. Uh, in the vanishing point filter edit window and now we can kind of drag using the normal cursor tools and make sure this goes to the edges of the plane so now we've created one plane of our 3d environment okay think of it that way each of these three points the center point uh, you can drag left and right to kind of uh, expand your plane and then when you're ready to create your second plane you'll press the control button and hover over the middle point click on it and drag upward and there you see we're creating a secondary plane that's going to cover this wall and set of walls over here I'm going to release okay now we can click back and forth and select either plane and if we need to adjust make any adjustments to where the planes are we can uh, I'm going to click control again it'll make that arrow turn white when I click on this point I'm going to bring it up on my third plane which I'll try to kind of line up with where uh, you know my other plane here is going to be have these points kind of line up um, so the third plane you're going to want to create you're going to want to select this plane again and then hit control grab this point and create your back wall okay bring that up to where these corners end and then finally select this one hold control and you'll create your top plane okay now you can see there's some space here between where this plane and this plane so I'm going to drag my top wall out a little bit to where it lines up as best as I can get it with that. Check everything out. Make sure it looks good. Now what I'm going to do, I come up here, there's this little teeny tiny arrow here. Drop it down and we'll export for After Effects. I'm just going to call this uh, 3D Layer 1. Okay. And we've got that saved. We click OK. Now we can hop over to After Effects, and I've got a new project here ready. And probably you know if you right-click here, it gives you your import options or new composition. You come down to Import, and usually you probably click File, Multiple Files, maybe Import from Premiere Project. Maybe you haven't done this one yet. You see there is a .vpe vanishing point file import, and you've got to click on that in order to see your files here. Okay. So we're going to select the one we just made, the 3D layer one, and you'll see it imports all the different layers as PNG files. Okay, but then you've also got the 3D composite as a composition. 
So we'll double click the composition to bring it into our workspace. And almost inevitably, I don't know why, um, you know, you've got this now on your timeline, this, this VPE file. We're going to take a look at it in just a second. But usually I found it also sets you up with a camera, you'll notice, uh, when you import the vanishing point file. Uh, I don't know why, but for some reason uh, it always imports it at some odd rotation. So I usually have to go into the transformers, transform controls under the parent, okay, which holds all these different layers together under this null object called parent, um, and then kind of rotate until I see where that ground looking texture is, you know, on the bottom, and then I'll come up to my camera, move the camera up into position. Um, and we can see, pretty cool looking, we have got ourselves a fairly well rendered uh, version of that photograph. And if we actually move forward with the camera, you can see we can literally visually kind of walk right down that alley all the way down to we hit. And I'll kind of scroll here some more. And of course, we can use the. Uh, camera tool, I'm going to use the Z-Track camera tool to kind of show you. This is, uh, this is what it looks like from a distance, okay, and as we get up close, now you can see our 2D photograph is now a 3D space, so that's pretty cool. So here you can see how I like to have fun with the 3D environments you can create using the vanishing point effect. Thanks for watching my tutorial, I hope you enjoyed it. This is Chris Silva with Crown Media Studio, signing off until next time.